We actually got a chance to sit down and talk with Jay Lethal mm-hmm. backstage, you know, before um, everything, you know, started up. And, you know, he gave us a good, you know, five minutes or so of his time where we got to, you know, sit down and talk with him for a little bit. So, you know, last week we interviewed ACH and we asked him, how, you know, what his feelings were for this match, this homecoming style match. And I, you know, brought that up to Jay Lethal and I talked to him about that. And then, of course, I also talked to him a little bit about... You know, who he liked, uh, growing up as a kid. And, well, <laughs> let's just say it was a little, a little bit, uh, shocking. I don't know. I don't know if you go shocking. Uh, what, what would you say, Trev? Uh, you kind of already heard this audio. Um, Surprising, I guess, who he brings up? Taboo. Taboo? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Let, let's, uh, let's let you judge for yourself. Let's go ahead and play that audio right now. Hello and welcome everyone, this is Abel from Houston Wrestling Radio and we're here in San Antonio backstage for the Ring of Honor event here tonight that we've been you know, really looking forward to and uh, guess who Guess who we ran into? We ran into somebody very, very special here. He is former X Division Champion, former TNA Tag Team Champion, uh, former ROH Pure Champion, former ROH TV champion. Jeez, this guy has won freaking everything. Uh, he is the one, the only, the charismatic, the great, Jay Lethal. Oh, I thought you were going to say Ric Flair. I was a little excited for a second. <laughs> <laughs> but he's never won the X Division title, so... Uh, uh, no, I don't know if he'd fit in the X Division. That, that wouldn't work. <laughs> I believe so. Well, thank you so much for, you know, just giving us a couple of minutes of your time here. I really appreciate it. Um, and I appreciate uh, ROH coming down here to San Antonio. That's not a that's not an everyday occurrence. It's pretty cool. No, no. In fact, I, I mean, I, uh, I've i only been in San Antonio one other time besides this one. So Awesome. Uh, actually, none of us get to venture into San Antonio that often. So anytime we get to it, it's pretty cool. And you, you said you went to the Alamo where... Mm-hmm. I don't know how far away that is from here. Yeah, it was like a, I don't know, a thirty minute drive from yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, hopefully before I go home, I'll, I'll get to go over there. <laughs> awesome, you know, check out check out the sites. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> My mom said, you know, it's one thing to be able to tell somebody you've been somewhere, but I mean, when when all you've been is inside the arena and in the hotel room, that doesn't really count. You know? Yeah, you don't get the real feel for the <laughs> right, city. You know? Right. Yeah, I right. understand. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, we got to kind of make it quick here. I just want to kind of hit you with the. The question I ask everybody that I interview, and this for you, it's interesting because it's kind of well documented. I always ask, um, who is it that you liked when you were younger, <clears throat> and when did you like start watching wrestling? But with you, we all know, we all know you like Flair. We all know you like Macho. Is there anything else that you could add on to that? Yeah, yeah. Not too many people know this, but uh, like a this well documented that I'm a big Savage and Ric Flair uh, fan. But I'm also a big fan of Chris Benoit. And I remember, uh, I think the main reason I liked or started to like wrestling is because my older brother liked wrestling, and I always wanted to do what my older brother did, much like anybody. You know, you always want to do what your older brother or sister is doing, and my older brother loved wrestling. So I remember one time, uh, X-Men had just went on. I can't remember what just went off, but uh, wrestling was on, and he got up and went to the bathroom, and it had to be WCW because... I saw Chris Benoit, who I didn't know at the time, right. and I didn't know his opponent either, but Chris Benoit did a snap suplex, ah. and this was the first time I've ever seen a snap suplex, and it was amazing. I remember I, I called for my brother who was in the bathroom, and I needed to know what that move was, and who is this that does that move, because it was <laughs> the greatest move I've ever seen in my life, a snap suplex. <laughs> And his snap suit, like, it was, it was lightning fast. They were oh, crisp. Oh, my yeah. goodness. But, yeah, that, not too many people know that uh, Chris Benoit was a, a big inspiration uh, mm. to me being a wrestler as well. I, you know, he was an inspiration to a lot of guys. Actually. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure, yeah. All right, cool. Well, I kind of want to get into to tonight. You know, I, I don't want to, you know, just transition away from that too, too quickly, <laughs> but we only have so much time here. Right, right. Uh, tonight's a big homecoming for ACH, and we interviewed him here on the show last week, and we got to talk to him about it, and he said that 
he considers this match the homecoming of all homecomings. And he was also quoted as saying that this is a dream match for a lot of people out here in the San Antonio area. And he's very excited for it, and he thinks it's a going to be a big point in his career, a big highlight of his career. Now, I would say us, you know, me being a Texan and all the, uh, all the other people here from San Antonio feel that way. But how does it feel being on the other side of the ring from that? You're his opponent tonight. You're supposed to beat him. You're supposed to beat the hometown boy. Uh, how, how are your feelings on that? You know, normally I am the hometown boy. And uh, I, I think I made a, a somewhat of a living on being the hometown boy. Uh, but now the roles are reversed. And uh, any time, I can remember having my dream match against Ric Flair. I know, I remember it like it was yesterday. I know the feel, every feeling that I had. I know how grateful I was that Ric Flair was actually agreeing to be a part of the match. And, of course, with the outcome, it was unreal, you know. So, any time, and, and this kind of makes me feel a little older, but uh, not too old, but when somebody says that wrestling me would be a dream match, you know, yeah. then it kind of takes me back to when I had my dream match against Flair. So, I know exactly what he's feeling. I know exactly what he's going through i don't know if it's it's anywhere near what i was going through only because i was in there with my idol you know uh this is hopefully will be a big match for uh ring of honor and ach in front of his home i know he's got a lot of family i'm the master at wrestling in front of my family trust me there's a lot of lethals out there (laughs) and every time we're in the new york area which is a lot of times we have many of our best in the worlds there uh my entire family is there so this will be ach's first time rustling in front of his entire family, you know, so I, I know exactly what he's going through, and I, and I hope uh, uh, to send all the fans of Ring of Honor, ACH's family, and ACH himself, I hope this, they all go home happy, and I uh, hope today is very successful for him. Uh, indeed, and man, I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you know my listeners are looking forward to it. By the time <laughs> I I post this, the match will already happen because we're like right, what, three right. hours away from people bell will be time. saying it was the worst match ever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is what he said before the worst match <laughs> right, ever. Right. <laughs> No, but I, I think it's going to be a really good match. I, I doubt that it's going to be the worst match ever, man. I got I got tons more faith in both of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm sure it's going to be great. Uh, thanks so much for giving us this time. I, you know, wait to see you out there in the ring, man. No problem. Thank you for having me.